Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Today I want to show you a couple flows in Node Red that can actually be used to leverage YouTube's data API. You can get information about your channel, your number of you know viewers, subscribers, and so forth. Um, let's check it out. Let's start with the documentation and then jump into Node Red and uh, look at the, the code and the, the flows firsthand. First of all, you want to go to the documentation. There's a lot of documentation on this. There's sample code if you're using a more complex programming language, such as Java, JavaScript, you know, Node.js, and so forth. You can get this information here. I have the curl uh, options on the screen because that's a good place to start. And then from there, you can start building your API calls in really any language. Uh, this particular document is the channels list document. Uh, so we can see uh, Google has some sample data here. Uh, you can execute, change the variables, and actually see how that affects the data that's replied uh, or that's responded uh, to your API call. You come down and you can see, okay, this is a get API uh, method. There's some notes about authorization. Uh, and then there are actually the parameters that can be used when making this API call. So I'm going to use this first parameter, the part parameter. Uh, it is required and we're going to use, uh, basically we're just going to look at statistics because that's that's the main focus here. Uh, there are a number of other ways to actually filter the data that's that the uh, API call will actually reply to you with. Um, so take a look at these notes. I'm not going to go into full details here. Scroll through, there are quite a few. Uh, and then, of course, it gives you the response format so that you know how to parse this data once your application gets it in reply. Jumping over to Node Red, I have a couple of flows built here. Uh, they all are essentially the same. Uh, I have first the timestamp um, inject node, which is simply uh, how you trigger this function. So if I hit the button, it will trigger the flow. The second, is the request setup. So this is just some notes on uh, or some variables that are set. Uh, there is a message API key, right? Your message is your your master object that's passed through the um, through the, the program, through the application. API key is a variable and channel is another variable. So your API key you're going to get from Google Developer uh, or from the Google Development Portal. Channel is the channel ID of your channel uh, or really someone else's channel if you want to browse uh, their statistics and, and leverage their statistics as well. I do have a comment here as to uh, the link for that document I just showed you as well. The next item is the HTTP request. Uh, again, it is a get. The API call, the URL for the API call uh, is listed there. Uh, and part of this is the API key, which is your, you know, how you authorized or are authorized to collect this data. The uh, three uh, brackets and the name of the variable inside is how we actually access that variable and substitute it into the string from our request setup node. Last but not least, there is a JSON, you know, text to JSON converter very straightforward and I've attached a message dot payload output debugging node just so that we can see the stuff that's been returned to us um, not practical necessarily for your application but a great way to debug see exactly what's being you know returned and uh, and you know go from there <clears throat> first of all I have single channel statistics so I'm gonna pull the statistics for my channel uh, it's not overwhelming by any stretch, but uh, it illustrates the point. So let's go ahead and execute this. You see the message.payload object is returned here. This is the JSON data that is returned. We can expand that out. Uh, we can see, you know, view counts. There's 2,691 views. Uh, no comments currently. Subscriber count, there are 39. Hidden subscriber count, this is false, so it does show the subscribers, that's essentially what that's saying. And video count, there's 22 videos at this time. Go ahead and clear that. 
The next piece is subscriber count only. So say you're capturing the subscriber count for a, you know, a counter or a graph or a wallboard or something. You can actually come in here uh, and leverage this call to prune that data down to specifically just the subscriber count. So again, same format, it's just remove some of the excess noise that you may not need. Next, I have subscriber count for two different channels. You can actually call for multiple channel data uh, in one call. Let's go ahead and run that. You'll notice it's formatted nearly identical to the one prior, uh, but it has two different chunks of data in the actual reply. Last but not least, we want to actually take this data and do something a little bit more useful with it, maybe visualize it in some way. Uh, actually have it hooked up to a graph so that we can take that subscriber data and graph it. Um, if we jump over to the UI, you can see here I have a subscribers graph. And again, at this point I have not a ton of subscribers, 39 to be exact. And you can see this uh, is being charted out uh, I have it run every 12 hours, and it gives us this uh, this flatline graph here. Uh, it's worth saying that if you like this video or like any of my other videos, go ahead and hit subscribe. We want to run this graph up and to the right, of course. But um, but yeah, just a couple different ways to capture the data. From there, you have the data. Now you can write an application that does something based on it. You can have it displayed, graphed, uh, logged to a file, logged to a database. Um, if something you know, say you want to produce a, a really nice thank you video for your subscribers when you cross that that hundred thousandth, uh, you know, view or hundred thousand subscribers or something crazy like that. You can do it, right? When you have uh, hit ten thousand or a thousand subscribers, maybe you want to monetize your channel. You can get a notification to do so, or you may even be able to just find the API calls to have it do it for you. Uh, there's a lot of stuff you can do with this data. Really, your creativity. Uh, is the limit, right? The data's there. Go make decisions with it. Uh, hope you've uh, enjoyed this video. As always, we'd love to have you subscribe. Come back often. Check out our other content. Uh, let me know what I can do better. If there's stuff that I've uh, missed or that you want to see that I've not covered, leave something in the comment section below. Uh, we hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching.